welcome to the chapter reading maps of different kinds this slide presents the overview of the chapter let us start our learning with the topic symbols used in maps usually we use symbols to represent the physical objects on a map some of the symbols are listed in the table shown on the screen hence in order to represent all the physical objects on a map a point line or an area symbol is used Now let us learn about the physical maps in brief. Usually we find some maps in atlas called the physical maps. Normally in these physical maps we can observe the different parts of land colored in green, yellow or brown. These colors denote the variety of landforms such as plains mountains plateaus etc and also show the heights of the place in the physical map shown we can observe that the various parts of the land is colored in green yellow brown and blue the variations in color denote the heights Let us now learn about measuring heights of the lands. Normally, all the heights on the land are measured from the sea level. All over the world, as all the seas are connected to one another, the sea level, that is the top surface, is taken as roughly the same. From the above picture, we can observe clearly that Kangura village is 50 meters above the sea level. Now, let us know how maps showing heights are used. The maps showing heights help us in understanding the nature of the terrain, the location of the mountains and the valleys, etc. Contour lines show the height and the outline of the terrain. The map showing heights plays an important role when dams or roads are being constructed. Usually, in some places, the land will have ups and downs. In such cases, these maps help us to decide the route to take for laying the roads. Moreover, while planning the construction of dams, it is important to know how much land will get submerged by the dam water. Now, let us do a simple activity with respect to symbols on a map. Answer the following questions by selecting the correct option. Now, let us perform an activity on match the following. Select suitable answer from group B for group A and drop it in bracket provided against A. Now, let us do a small drag and drop activity. Observe the below given objects and categorize them by dropping the respective object under the respective symbols, which are used to represent them in a map. Usually, we use symbols to represent the physical objects on a map. In order to represent all the physical objects on a map, a point line 
or an area symbol is used. The capital of any state can be represented on a map through the use of point symbol. The rivers or streams can be represented on a map with the use of line symbol. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work. Point out the rivers, railway tracks and famous temples in each state of India map and tick the state capitals. Observe the differences between the lifestyle of people living on high altitudes and low altitudes. Draw the contour lines of different objects like the one shown on screen. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test.